Hi, this is Chris Cool with Geeks on Tour, and I want to show you how I use the Snapseed app to improve my photos. I'm starting in Google Photos, and this is an Android. I'll do it on an iPhone in a minute. I this is the picture I want to edit. I tap the edit button in Google Photos. Then swipe over on the horizontal menu until I see more. Snapseed, if it's installed on your phone, should appear there. Now I'm in Snapseed and I want to choose a tool. Tools. And the tool I always start with is Tune Image, the first one. Once you're in the tool, you swipe up and down on the photo to choose the specific option. In my case, I'm going to use ambiance. Once you've chosen ambiance, then you rub left or right to increase or decrease the amount of that option. Notice when I scroll, when I rub over to the right, the photo gets richer. You get more detail in the shadows and a darker blue sky. I like that a lot. And I tap the check mark to say I'm done with that. One other thing I want to do with this picture is take out that extra car back there. See, I want it to look like we were the only ones there. That's tools and healing. Now I get it so that I can I see that truck and I just rub my finger on it. And it's gone. Check mark. And I am done editing this photo. I tap done and I am back to Google Photos. I can view my results here. Now I'm going to do the same thing using an iPhone. Snapseed works the same, but getting to it and back from Google Photos is slightly different. So here I am in Google Photos. Here is the picture, the original picture that I want to edit. You swipe up and tap open in Snapseed. Once here I tap Tools, Tune Image, swipe on the photo until I choose Ambiance, then swipe right to increase the amount of Ambiance. It's, it's a, I think a fairly subtle difference, but just beautiful. You can look at the difference between your original and what you have now with this button in the top right. There's my original. There it is with the ambiance. I like it. I tap the check mark. I want to get rid of that truck. I tap tools and healing. Zoom in a little bit. Touch on the truck. And I don't like how that worked, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. There. Check mark. And there is no done. In the iPhone, you have to tap Export and then Save. And then you have to manually go back to Google Photos. It might take a minute before the photo from Snapseed shows up in your Google Photos, but then it will be next to your original on iPhone anyway. It'll be it it'll have a new date for today in Android. And that is how easy it is to make your pictures more beautiful using Snapseed. Give it a try.